Boys, welcome to the hospital district of this small town. Pretty soon, it's going to be crawling with undead zombies. Millions of them. And we're going to have to defend a small little baby boy who's chilling right there. Just He's just chilling right there. All right, so in the past, we've done this where we've had all of the zombies sort of outside of whatever we're defending. But this time, we're going to have them all outside, but then also we're going to leave pockets of them inside too to make it just that much more challenging. So first things first, we're going to go ahead and actually set up the zombies here. Uh, and I am going to do that right now. All right, here we go. A number of zombies have broken out of the hospital. And uh, now they're just throughout the town. And outside is a bunch of riot zombies that were coming to go and save the hospital, but have now turned undead. Let's go ahead and now set up the defenders throughout these defenses, which is going to be a little bit harder because of the zombies that are now inside. All right, boys, we got the barricades and the defenders of Zibibe down. So we have shotgunners, we have RPGers, we have assault riflemen, all in the immediate vicinity of the baby, and a line of machete troopers too. Then we have these small pillboxes set up, and I forgot to put troopers in this one. <laughs> there you go. Uh, set up throughout the map in order to basically slow down the zombie assault. And then at every entrance to the town here, we've also got assault riflemen uh, behind barricades and things like that. So it should be a really interesting battle. We'll see if they manage to hold off the zombies that are already in the building, baby. All right, guys, let's get this thing going. Brace yourself. The battle commences. Okay, so we do have just so many zombies coming forward. This is one of the bigger maps in the game, so there's going to be quite a number here. Uh, assault riflemen on the edges already starting to pepper the zombies. Uh, there are, of course, these interior zombies coming at uh, them as well, but uh, they're getting gunned down pretty easily. Maybe I didn't put enough interior zombies in the map because right now uh, they're just all kind of dying. This is not even that big of a threat. They're not even going for, like, the, the soldiers on the exterior. Like, they could easily flank right here, but, well, I guess they don't have that big of brains. So, <laughs> that's why they're after the brains. Hey, these guys are actually interacting with the machete troopers, though, which is kind of nice. We rarely kind of use the, the melee units in this, because, let's be honest, the melee units are absolute garbo. But it is fun to see them in action every once in a while. Uh, either way, on the flanks here, uh, we do have some of the zombies actually managing to sneak into these barriers. They're starting to beat them down, and there we go, actually. That one gets crushed, and this lady is probably going to go down fairly soon to this horde of zombies that's starting to attack her here. So, uh, we are starting to get little entrances, and there we go, she does end up dying right there. Uh, yeah, we are getting little entrances all throughout the map, which is basically the start of the crumbling. You know what I'm saying? Oh, look at the, the, these hazmat zombies that were going for the hospital. Absolutely terrible. They ended up doing basically nothing this whole time. Absolute garbo. It's basically up to all these zombies on the outside. And yes, there's still a heck of a lot of them coming forward. So I think, uh, you know, the zombies still have a fairly good shot at winning this thing. Look at this. If only the zombies could actually climb over this fence, then they just have a direct pipeline to the baby right here. But instead, uh, they, they just have to glance at it and, and then move all the way around. Oh, look at this. They're actually sneaking their way in right here and uh, beginning to attack some of the, uh, the interior defenses. Look at that. There's even still some hazmat zombies here too, by the way, all of which are getting gunned down by these shotgunners right here. So uh, they're not posing too much of a threat. But this is pretty impressive from the zombies themselves managing to get in here. And now they're attacking uh, some of these assault riflemen from the side here as well. Oh, they're swarming in this way too. Look at that. Massive swarms entering into the area here. This is, this is unprecedented. This is big. Even at the front entrance, uh, we do have zombies coming in. This is probably where most of the assault riflemen are. Uh, the other entrances are, I think, just a little bit smaller than this one right here. And so therefore, these ones are holding out a little bit stronger against these zombies. But even still, the zombies are managing to crack these defenses and get through just a wee bit. Eh. This is not too shabby at all. Look at this. These guys are almost up to the machete line right here, actually, and I think once they bust down some more of these barricades over here and take out more of these assault riflemen over here, uh, then 
it's only a matter of time before the real swarm gets going over this way uh, and we just have full blown zombie attack over here plus we have the zombies attacking from this direction as well which is gonna end up splitting the defenses in half here if we get the uh, boys from middle here too then it'll be just so many zombies coming forward right now these assault riflemen over here in this pillbox are side swiping a lot of these zombies here so it's not ending up too well for these zombies uh, there's also still assault riflemen here so they're managing to get a lot of zombie kills as well uh, you know so there's still a lot of work to do on these exterior defenses but at the very least some of the zombies are beginning to put cracks in the defenses and begin to move on forward here look at this machete troopers swang in their machetes and uh, slicing through a lot of these zombies the zombies have yet to get any of these machete troopers killed but they're very vulnerable given that they are melee units out in the open here and actually on the other side over here we have RPG trooper right here uh, firing RPGs into the backs of the machete troopers I don't think there's any friendly fire which is very very good but that is definitely helpful for these machete troopers to have that sort of backup uh, that gives them a brief relief but there we go one of the first machete troopers to fall right there the rest of these zombies back here are going after this pillbox filled to the brim with shotgunners Daryl here is trying his darndest to shoot some of them zombies right there look at this these assault riflemen still alive the problem is that the AI in this game the zombie AI rather is really heck bent on going after the baby uh, so if there are people blocking their paths they will kill them but as you can see for the most part most of them are just like nope zeroing in on the baby I just want to eat the baby uh, so they kind of ignore a lot of these uh, troopers at the pillboxes and things like that uh, which actually results in these troopers managing to kill more and more zombies as uh, the time goes on I mean look at this like just straight up these zombies are just getting in here look at this the, the wide shot overview so many zombies moving in here boys all of the entrances still do have troopers though which is so funny this is the closest one to actually dying here oh yeah they are losing all of their pillboxes they are slowly getting surrounded here this is the end for these blokes oh goodbye it's been a good run you did good defending the baby but there we go they are now zombies themselves right there and this entire alleyway right here is going to be infested by zombies but still these machete troopers managing to hold out and kill all of the zombies here that's absolutely crazy meanwhile over here where I was assuming uh, you know this area would be a tighter defense due to the RPG trooper more machete troopers have actually died over here and now it's causing uh, the shotgunners to have to activate back here and really start uh, you know pummeling some of these guys with some book shot and look at this this pillbox right here has been broken down too um, oh look over here we're, we're getting swarmed on all sides baby yeah look at this absolute swarming happening right now oh yeah okay that entrance is about to be kaputs and then what's going on over here alright this entrance is dead as well and then this one over here is similarly very very close to death right now not a lot going for them at the moment look at this just a crazy number of zombies I mean it's just like a pure blob of zombie action this is crazy I you gotta kind of love it though this looks so sick that's why I love Swarm Z it's a very simple tower defense game but man is it really really fun it is really really fun how are these machete troopers over this way still managing to slice into these zombies and take them out this is actually crazy how well those machete troopers are doing they are doing fantastic right there and yet over here they did terribly and now uh, it's up to this bazooka trooper to really calm the tide here without that bazooka trooper I think these shotgunners would already have been overrun over here um, but that bazooka trooper is keeping the zombies in their place how many zombies are we still looking at still a lot of zombies on the battlefield and now the entire town is just getting filled to the brim we do have some snipers back here that are taking pot shots at the zombies uh, and they do a lot of collateral damage too so they take out many zombies at once which is definitely very very helpful um, but not totally sure if uh, <laughs> you know it'll be enough given the just size of the zombie army that's really coming forward here this small pillbox over here also trying to do its part it's basically a bunch of mini defenses trying to uh, basically do a war of attrition against the zombies and take as many of them out as possible before the zombies get to the baby and then hopefully the baby defenses here uh, can sort of hold out but there we go wow massive breakthrough over here the RPG trooper is dead and now the zombies are uh, moving their way 
through the crowd and actually just munching on a whole lot of these shotgunners. These units over here are definitely done for. There are more assault riflemen back here and revolver troopers and more RPG troopers back there as well. Uh, but look how fast these guys are managing to come into the defenses here and start swinging. This entire pillbox that was right here is just gone. There's no even evidence of it even existing right there. And these machete troopers over here also having to do some damage to these zombies. They're probably going to go down. And look over this way. These uh, machete troopers did finally end up dying. They did very, very well for themselves, though. And this pillbox right here also going down uh, with the zombies munching on some brains right there. So the zombies are fully encapsulating the baby defenses now. This is the final stand, I will say, of uh, the defenders at the moment. There is another RPG trooper right here who can do some damage for them. Um, but right now, it's only going to get bigger, the zombie problem. There's only more zombies coming forward and attacking the hospital from here on out. Uh, it will not get easier. It will only get harder at this point. Oh, look at this. It is kind of epic, though. I do love this game. It's just unreal how large scale uh, you can make these things go. Oh, look over here. Oh, my God. The zombies are getting over to the revolver line now. They've actually conquered the assault rifle line there, and now they're moving on to the revolver line. This defense did not hold up as well as the left side. The left side did so much better than the right side over here, which is really, really shocking. Um, there are still five RPG men back there, a whole lot of revolver troopers, and some assault rifle troopers over here still. Uh, so there might be a chance for this to be recovered and for the zombies to be stopped. I mean, there's still a lot of troopers, but there's so many zombies coming forward. This, this wave of zombies will not stop for a very, very long time here. And even the left side is getting a little bit more risky now. Look at this. The zombies managing to squirm their way through here. Actually, they're about to take out the RPG trooper, and he is down for the count two right there. Oh, yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, this is, uh, this is no bueno at all. Look at this. The zombies almost at the RPG line right here. They're still managing to hold them back, killing hundreds of zombies with a single shot. I will say that right there. My goodness. These pillboxes over this way also starting to get attacked now. Uh, the exterior pillboxes are, are doing their best to wither down the zombies uh, before they make it to the end here. But even still, it's just not quite enough. All right, let's go at fast speed for a little bit here uh, and see what ends up going down with these zombies. Yeah, they are just decimating those revolver troopers right there and starting to move in on the RPG troopers here. The revolver troopers are doing a good job of doing a final stand. It helps that they have massive RPGs striking behind them, uh, which is sort of alleviating the zombie crisis a little bit. Uh, also, a lot of zombies seem to be attracted to them, so it's a good distraction for the RPG troopers there. But nevertheless, they are one by one getting killed out there. Uh, it's only a matter of time before the zombies start approaching the RPG troopers here. And the last revolver trooper, is she gonna go down? She's very, very close to death. She is very, very close to death, but these RPG troopers are keeping her alive at all costs here. Look at this. Wow. Talk about, like, saving her from getting eaten. These RPGs. Oh, no, her block is gone. It's just her. She's all that's left. No. Oh, my God. She's getting hit so many times, but she has yet to die. That is really, really impressive right there. Oh, every time they approach, like, it's like waves come forward. Every time they approach, you think, oh, this could be the last one. But no. Oh, and there she goes. She does finally go down. Now it's just the RPG troopers against so many zombies. Holy cow. Uh, and they're just doing one by one, taking them out with these bazooka shots. Uh, and they're doing a smart job of it too. They're doing rounding fire. They're not all firing at once. If they were all firing at once, uh, the zombies could come in while they're reloading. But instead, since they're sort of rounding fire out here, uh, it seems like the zombies aren't quite able to get close enough. How are these pillboxes doing? A couple of the pillboxes have fallen um, over here, but they're still somewhat alive. These snipers also still managing to get some shots in at the zombies. There's even some machete troopers over here, here still fighting too. Uh, so those things, you know, while they might seem insignificant right now, they are still taking a chunk out of the remaining zombies uh, and preventing them from being at full strength at all times, uh, which is very good. You know, we, we don't want the zombies to be at full strength uh, because then maybe the RPGs back here will capitulate under the crushing number of zombies that are coming forward. But look at this. 
we've whittled down the zombies to uh, quite a small number now. This is actually not too bad. Not too bad at all. It seems like the snipers are now out of range, which is kind of funny because they're literally snipers. <laughs> um, but that's fine. It's, it's really just going to be up to the uh, RPG troopers here who are just continuously firing at this point. Okay, so I actually just noticed that there is an assault rifle woman right here between these ambulances just chilling and firing into the zombies as well. That's kind of funny. Uh, also, these machete troopers still alive over here too. So there's still some, some resistance back here beyond just the RPG troopers. Uh, but right now, the RPG troopers are absolutely carrying and it seems like the zombies are going to fall to the RPG troopers here. I think the RPG troopers do have this as they are just stopping the zombies in their tracks with their rounding fire here. This is really, really well done by the RPG troopers. And here we have it, folks. The very last of the zombies trickling on in here to their doom. Uh, it looks like the very last line of defense here ended up clutching it up uh, for the bebe and ended up saving its life. Uh, meanwhile, the rest of the defenses, you know, some of the pillboxes are still alive, but the others did just a very, very heroic defense for us here um, and, and put, their, put their life on the line, gosh dang it, for this baby and all of the fallen comrades. They'll all be remembered because it's just so sad. So the baby at the hospital did manage to survive. Absolutely beautiful. Either way, guys, if you did enjoy this video, please be sure to hit the like button. It helps me out a ton. Subscribe if you haven't already. And comment down below if you'd like to see some more Swarm Z in the future. I have a lot of fun playing this game, and I hope you guys have a lot of fun watching it. Um, it's a pretty cool game. It's old, but it's still a goodie. All right, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.